This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at successive ionization energies. So we'll start by looking at a table of the successive ionization energies of aluminium. In this table, we have the ionization, the equation for the ionization, the electron configuration of the ion formed, and the ionization energy in kilojoules per mole. The first ionization of aluminium involves the removal of one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous 1 plus ions. If we look at the electron configuration of the ion formed, we can see that we've lost the one electron in the 3p sub level. And the ionization energy is 578 kilojoules per mole. For the second ionization energy, we are starting with one mole of gaseous 1 plus ions. When one mole of electrons is removed, we end up with one mole of gaseous 2 plus ions. And if we look at the electron configuration of the ion formed, we can see that we've lost one electron from the 3s sub level. And the ionization energy has increased to 1817 kilojoules per mole. For the third ionization, we start with one mole of gaseous 2 plus ions and remove one mole of electrons to form one mole of gaseous 3 plus ions. And if we look at the electron configuration, we can see that we've lost the last remaining electron in the 3s sub level. And the ionization energy is 2745 kilojoules per mole. So as we go down the table, we can see that the charge on the ion is increasing. Another important point is that the ionization energy is increasing. The reason for this increase is that the electrons are being removed from an increasingly positive ion, which causes an increase in the attraction between the nucleus and the remaining electrons. Also note the large increase in ionization energy between the third and fourth ionizations. The reason for this will be explained later in the video. Next we look at the graph of the successive ionization energies of aluminium. So just to recap, the first three electrons are removed from the n equals 3 energy level. The next eight electrons are removed from the n equals 2 energy level. And the last two electrons are removed from the n equals 1 energy level. Again we can see that the successive ionization energies show an increase, as electrons are removed from an increasingly positive ion. We also see two large increases in ionization energy, between the third and fourth ionizations, and the 11th and 12th. These large increases in ionization energy show the existence of energy levels in the atom. The first large increase in ionization energy also helps us determine to which group the element belongs. So for aluminium, the first large increase is between the third and fourth ionizations. This occurs after the three valence electrons are removed from the outer energy level. Aluminium has three valence electrons Therefore, it's located in group 13 of the periodic table. So next we look at this concept in more detail. This table shows values for the successive ionization energies of the elements sodium to sulfur. Starting with sodium, which is located in group 1 of the periodic table. For sodium, we see a large increase in ionization energy after the first ionization. Which tells us that sodium has one valence electron and is therefore located in group 1 of the periodic table. Next, we have magnesium, which is a group 2 element. Elements in group 2 have two valence electrons. And if we look for the large increase in ionization energy, we can see it occurs after the second ionization. Next, we have aluminium, which is a group 13 element, and has three valence electrons. So for aluminium, we'd expect to see the large increase after the third ionization which is what we see in the table. Silicon, being a group 14 element, has four valence electrons. And we see the large increase after the fourth ionization. Phosphorus is a group 15 element with five valence electrons. And the large increase occurs after the fifth ionization. And finally, we have sulfur, which is a group 16 element. And the large increase for sulfur occurs after the sixth ionization. So to summarize, we look for the large increase in ionization energy, which tells us the number of valence electrons in the element. For group 1 elements, the large increase will be after the first ionization. For group 2, after the second ionization, group 13, after the third ionization, and so on. So let's end the video with a question. 
The first 10 ionization energies of an unknown element are shown on the graph, determined to which group the element belongs. So from the graph we can see that the large increase in ionization energy occurs after the sixth ionization. This tells us that the element has six valence electrons, and therefore the element belongs in group 16 of the periodic table.